Eric, thank you. And a big question tonight. How did Metz manage to get his hands on all of those weapons, especially since he's a convicted felon? ABC Action News investigator Adam Walzer shows us how much damage some of those weapons could have done. Adam? Well, Jameson, even though Metz couldn't legally own a firearm, he was first granted a hunting license by the state of Florida back in 1994. And while some of his guns could be used for hunting, other weapons police seized are banned from civilian use since their primary purpose is to kill people. This is an M10 fully automatic submachine gun, similar to the one seized by police in William Metz's home. It is capable of firing 1,145 rounds a minute. MAC-10s became popular during the drug wars of the 1980s for their ability to put out a large amount of short-range firepower. They can be purchased for about $6,000 from licensed gun dealers, but require a special federal machine gun license. An additional license is required for a silencer like the one found on Metz's gun with its serial number removed. This is an explosion from a Claymore M18 anti-personnel landmine. Two of these devices were seized from Metz's home. First used in Vietnam, the mines are specifically designed to kill or maim enemy troops, dispersing lethal ball bearings up to 100 yards. Functional landmines are illegal for any civilians to possess in the U.S. And while the 18-inch version of the Ithaca 12-gauge shotgun like this one is a popular firearm for short-range target practice, the modified short barrel one seized for Metz's house is illegal in all 50 states without obtaining a federal permit and tax stamp. And police are still looking into where and how Metz got all of those weapons. I'm my team investigator Adam Walser taking action for you.